Hey there, Johnny Daniel, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! How are you? It is Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock. And you know what I just realized? I ran through it. I went right through and I said, how are you? Da -da 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 -da. How are you? I hope you're well. It's still about 75 degrees for the high of the day. So not sure if we're into winter yet or not. Anyways, so for tonight, I'm going to show you how to color on the brushed metallics paper. Hey, Pam, how are you? And um, I think that's about it. We'll see. Um, wanted to let you know between the sale, pre-order, retired stuff that went on today, um, orders are shipping at about two or three days of what we're used to. So just FYI for you. So anyways, I'm going to flip you around and we're going to get to going because we got a bunch to do. So hey, Lise, how are you? So, hold on a second. All right. So for tonight, and hopefully everything's lined up. We will see, huh? <laughs> so, um, let's see here. Almost. All right. So for tonight, I'm going to show you how to color on this gorgeous paper. We're going to go front to back and left to right, and we're going to get it all set and done for you. And I'm going to give you some tips to help you along the way so your fingers are not completely covered by the time we finish. Believe it or not, I actually have some tips on that for you. So I'm going to refresh my computer, get the video up on my side so I can see comments. Um, let's see here and make sure everything's running correctly and all that fun stuff okay we should be good all right so for tonight we're going to do something similar to this um instead of doing the the gold and the i can't remember what color this is right now i'm blanking on it sorry um lighter gold haha <laughs> anyways instead of doing this we're going to be doing two-tone silver so i just wanted it to be a touch bit different but we're going to do the same card okay so without anything else we probably should go over what's on the desk and what's going to happen right so um the tip for tonight silicone mat to do your coloring okay um what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the pine cones and before you take any of the adhesive off the back, the backing, you are going to put a glue dot down and it'll hold and then you can color and you won't have to deal with your fingers getting crazy inky and it'll allow you time to let it dry without getting any fingerprints on it. So um, just a quick tip. but. So this is Christmas to remember and Christmas pine cone dies are what we're going to be using for tonight as well as the Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder. Mine's a little warped because it's been well loved. We'll just say that for this season. So that is what is on the cutting plate for tonight. Um, for this card, like I said before, we're going to mess with some adhesive sheets. Okay. So if you don't know how to do these, this is going to be a good demonstration for you. So we've got the adhesive sheets. I have, like I said, two tones of the silver. And then I have some evergreen, evening evergreen. Let's see, what else? I have a piece of adhesive that I've already cut. And I have a card base. So as I go through it, I will do the measurements for you. And if I don't, yell at me. It's just that simple. So also within reach, I have my paper trimmer. I also have my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I have my silicone mat, which I've already shown you. I have evening evergreen ink pad. And then I have a conglomeration of the cinnamon cider combo blends and evening evergreen combo blends, as well as the bronze, because I don't know exactly what colors I want to do. So if you want hot pink pine cones, 
go hot pink. It's fine with me. So, um, shall we begin? So for tonight, card base is thick basic white cardstock, and it is cut at four and a quarter by eleven, scored in the middle at five and a half. Okay. Next, and we're going to be cutting because I didn't do it ahead of time. Why did I not do it ahead of time? Not because I ran out of time, but I thought, you know, for my beginners, everything's there always prepped and you guys never see me use a cutter. So guess what? We're going to see everything. All right. So, um, this normally comes eight and a half by 11. This is just a piece. Um, I want five and a quarter by four. Normally a card base is five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm going five and a quarter. Oh, this is already cut. Must have been the other half to the one I did for the other. And then by four. So that's that. If you want to keep your strips, go for it. Personally, not that small for me. Uh-uh. All right. So... There's that. And then the lighter silver is going to be what's colored and the darker silver is gonna be the background, okay? So there's that. So darker silver needs to be, and you gotta pay attention with this because there's kind of lines through it. So you gotta figure out which way you want your lines to kind of go. Do you want them across? And cutting through this way or do you want them up and down I think I'm gonna go across but pay attention to that because that makes a difference on your card okay three and three quarter because my last mat was five and a quarter by four so I'm going down by a quarter so this is three and three quarter by five because the last one was five and a quarter right okay so there's that and then last but not least this little piece i'm just gonna notch out a bit so i can do my pine cones and i mean a bit because i'll show you i'll show you what i'm what i'm trying to tell you let's see did that work yes okay so what I'm trying to do is have enough scrap paper to cut these three little pine cones. That's it. Okay. So I don't need a lot. So there's, there's my bit, <laughs> shall we say. All right. So now I'm going to grab my machine because we got to cut these pine cones, right? So I'm going to grab my machine. Yeah, my cutting plates. Okay, hope you see this. All right, now I gotta remember where I put my dies. Okay, so here's another tip for you, especially especially when you get bigger, but really not for tonight. But like if you're doing a rectangle, try to do it on the diagonal so that way as it's going through the pressure, it doesn't clunk and it's just easier to roll and you'll have a better impression too or a better cut so there's my three pine cones i put the base down my number two and my number three and number three again hopefully i won't hit the camera mount like i did last time all right come on there we go Hard to do when I'm sitting down. I'm used to doing this standing up, so forgive me. Okay. Obviously that one cut through because it's flying by the seat of its pants. All right, and then, oh, these cut out nicely. Awesome. Okay, and poke those out afterwards. Okay, so I've got my three. I'm gonna put those over on my silicone mat because right now I'm going to run while I have the machine up here, I'm going to get done. So I've got my platform. I'm going to find my folder. Here we go. So here's my question. 
Which way do we want the trees to go? I think up and down, so I don't have to redo the whole layout. What do you think? Okay, so we're gonna run this through. Hinge side first, that gives less pressure and it, make it makes it last a lot longer. And we're gonna crank this three real quick. Okay, and then we should be done with that. Up and down, yep. Up and down, up and down. All right. So, all right, so the question of the hour, you already know what I'm probably gonna ask. Do you? Lise, Pam, do you? <laughs> What's for dinner? I'm hungry. I think we're gonna grab a pizza tonight because I have been working my tail off to get stuff ready for the craft fair on Saturday. So, let's see here. I was supposed to put the adhesive on the back of those. Hmm, shoot, let's do that again. Because honestly, those are really hard, really, really hard to glue down if they're not done with some adhesive. So we're gonna do a redo. Have you guys ever done redos? What's your biggest redo that you've done? I had a class once where somebody set something on fire. That was my biggest redo. The card was smoking. <laughs> so. We were doing embossing and it didn't go well. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so it happens, doesn't it? Sliders, fries, and spinach salad. I'll be right over, Pam. <laughs> I really will. No, I'm just teasing. It's how how many hours of a drive? Four? So six? I don't can't remember. I did look at one point, but I just can't remember off the top of my head. <sighs> So, all right, let's cut some more pine cones with the adhesive this time since I told you we were going to do that. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so when you're using the adhesive sheet, you've got your adhesive here, and oh, that's a little bit wider than what I want. So, we're going to trim this down a bit because the point is, you do not want to have stickies hanging out past your cardstock. If you do, then it's getting on everything else too. So you have a backing and then you have a sticky side, okay? That sticky side you want on the back of your cardstock. So you're gonna peel off the wax, which is this side, and then you're gonna stick this to the back of your paper. And now my hands have adhesive all over them. That's what jeans are for, right? So you wanna get off as much sticky as you possibly can. And then I'm gonna actually trim this so I don't have to guess where my adhesive is. Um, you don't have to do this, but I'm choosing to so I don't have to deal again later. So let's get this going. So I've got my pine cones again. <laughs> yeah, some days you gotta remember, huh? All right. Four hours or a bit less. Hmm. Depends on who's driving, doesn't it? <laughs> It'd be like three hours and 45 minutes for me. It'd probably be three and a half for Joel. And it would be four and a half for Tara. <laughs> she is a slow driver, so. She enjoys the view while she's going, we'll just say, as she's getting passed by the semi-trucks. <laughs> so, God love her. I don't know exactly where she came from because Joel and I both drive pretty quickly. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> it makes life fun. Kids teach you pa patience no matter what, huh? <laughs> so, all right, so there's our pine cones with our adhesive this time. Yahoo! <laughs> I'm telling you, some days you can remember, and other days, I, yeah. Okay. So, 
We're gonna peel these guys out. You want the adhesive to come with, okay? Why is that? Because I do not want stickies yet, yet. Cause we got a color still, right? Okay, so I'm gonna peel these guys out. We're gonna knock out as much. Take your pick, to, grab your take your pick tool or your snips, scissors, and I'm poking out as much as I possibly can without taking that adhesive off because the less I have to deal with later, the better. Okay, so we've got this. Now, if the backing that is left is not the foil, but just the adhesive part, just leave it, no problem. I just wanna have the bulk of the pieces or the bits out. So there's, huh, okay. That one kind of peeled the whole backing off. I wanna make sure to not peel the backing off. So I'm just making sure I got the little bits and not peeling the whole thing which is what it wants to do because that's the easy thing, but I wanna make sure that's not what happens, okay? So, come on. You wanted to see me just poke through, right? Maybe in town this month a couple days. All right, well, let me know, Pam. Not exactly, I got two craft fairs and a Christmas party. Christmas party's on the 18th of December. If you happen to be in town, my dear, anytime from 10 to 2 is going to be the drop-in. Love to have you. Let me know so I don't mail your stuff. So, and you can have it here instead if you would like. That'd be cool. And then it won't get crunched. <laughs> so, all right. So I got my pieces and parts out. We're going to move that a little bit to the side gather it in a pile and hopefully get the majority of it in the trash can. Why do I say that? Because last week I was dealing with shreds for a package and it was sitting on top of something and guess what happened? Yeah, the whole thing tipped over and that's all I must say. <laughs> so, all right, so on the back, we still have the adhesive. There's another piece. You're gonna be finding pieces for a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am grabbing my glue dots. Now, these are not staying. They're going to be on the adhesive, right? So I'm just putting one on each one. Doesn't matter if it comes through. It is simply to hold my stuff still on my mat, unless, of course, it sticks to my finger, on my mat. Um, so that way I can color and not get my fingers all nitty gritty. Unless it sticks to your fingers more than, <laughs> more than, you know, everything else. All right, so now that I've got that situated, okay, I gotta ask you, do we have brown pine cones or green pine cones? Anybody, anybody? I'm thinking brown pine cones with a touch of green on the tip still. Or are we thinking green pine cones with a touch of brown on the tips? I don't know. So one of the tips with this, while I'm waiting for you to comment, you want to go about a shade darker because it's going to come out a tiny bit lighter. Green. Okay. Gotcha. Green with a little bit of brown tips. Gotcha. Um, so it's going to show a little bit lighter for one. Okay. So you just want to make sure, okay, so this is Evening Evergreen and this is the dark one. So you're just going to sloppily go over and you're just going to make sure to hit all the parts you want to color. You're going to, and see this is why we have the glue dot down, because otherwise my hand would look like that, right? Okay. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna color them all. If you wanted a tiny bit darker, 
We can't do lighter. For some reason, that glue dot's not sticking. Stick, please. I want it to stick because I don't want to end up wearing this. Okay, there we go. Um, so you can always come back and do another layer. You don't want to put too much on at once because when it dries, it is a different color. Um, shade, I should say, not a different color. And so you want to still have the flexibility to put more on, right? It's kind of like cutting. You want to, oh my gosh, this one's not cooperating. Um, so when you're cutting, you always go a tiny bit long because you can always make it shorter, right? So you're going to go through and you're going to put your color on, but kind of do like a single layer, as it were. You're not going to go back over it. And you're going to sit there and let it dry. And when it dries, You'll be able to go, oh, that's the color I want, or hey, I need a little bit more on the tips. That is not working, is it? It worked earlier. I don't know. You got the idea, but it's just for some reason not cooperating because I got in between the pine cone and I didn't actually get, <laughs> I didn't actually get where I should have, I guess. Hey, Iris, how are you? Um, you're going to have to catch the replay, hun, because I used the adhesive sheets about four minutes ago. <laughs> so there you go. All right. So now we're going to do a touch of the bronze and I'm just going to touch my tips a little bit. So it looks like they are not fresh off the tree, right? So I'm just touching my tips 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 you can also use the espresso cinnamon cider it's just up to you on what you do with this it's coloring for heaven's sakes all right so I'm just dabbing my tips and then when you're done you do want to move them a little bit and here's why because you've got all this stuff all over so you probably want to move it so you can look and see what it's colored like. Okay. So we went from silver to, can you see? I'm like, it's pretty. Can you see the color? So, all right. So I'm going to pull these off. Don't worry about the glue dots. If you want to clean this off, yes, this is alcohol marker. So magic eraser takes that off in a little bit of water. No problem. All right. So we're finished with the blends. Now we're going to assemble the card and what else do I need? Oh, I need the little strip for Merry Christmas. Don't I? Did I forget? Yeah. Hold on a half sec. I've been creating all day for the craft fair and yeah, <laughs> so it's okay though. Alrighty. So let's see, is this close enough for me? Okay. Um, measurement wise is what I was looking at. Where did my stamps go? They're in the pile down here. Okay. So let's see. We need something long and skinny. So Merry Christmas or season's greetings. That is the question of the evening. <laughs> While I'm waiting on that, I'm going to glue these down. Now I have switched. I have switched to stamp and seal instead of the plus simply because I got tired of my paper ripping. There is still a purpose to Stampin' Seal Plus for 3D, it's stronger, but for everyday stuff, yeah. All right, so Merry Christmas, one for Merry Christmas. Okay. And 
then I'm going to put my dark silver over. Okay, so there's that. All right, so we got Merry Christmas. That is what we're doing. Grab a block. Stick this on here. I want it to go all the way across, so I'm going to go this way instead and trim down. So I am going to go hold for a couple seconds. Oof. I must have just drank that pad. Oof. There's quite a bit on there, but that is okay. All right. So how's everybody doing? Do you understand the concept? I didn't think it was very hard, but it's a kind of a cool technique though. Um, the lighter the metallic paper, obviously the more color is going to show through. The darker the paper, the more of a hue you will get instead of a true color, I guess you would say. Okay, so let's see if I did this. I have a touch more on this side and let's see. This is three and three quarter, this is four. So I'm gonna go like three and seven eighths to go halfway between. But I need to trim some more off the other side as well. Yes, I guess. I don't often measure measure. So here we are. <laughs> so, all right, so there's my Merry Christmas. So we've got here, now we're on foil. So remember, you're looking at glue dots are gonna be your best bet to glue down, okay? For the words, okay? Now you can also use dimensionals, but um, the seal is not gonna hold though. The runner, whatever you wanna call it, so. All right, so we've got here we've got here so I'm doing four glue dots across here probably need Merry Christmas to go the correct way huh <laughs> so I had this going just past the edge so there's that and I'm gonna have to do this tiny bit different because guess what I forgot to leave room <laughs> So we're going to peel the back off here. That's okay. Overcome, right? Creative opportunities, all that other stuff, huh? All right. So I think I'm going to put one here. What do you think? Kind of hides, huh? And then the other two I'm going to put inside because I want to show them off. And I want the color to pop through on here and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab an envelope real quick and that third pine cone is gonna go on my envelope so we just peel the backing off here and we're gonna stick this down here make sure it's super flush so you don't get people saying anything about your envelopes and that is the card what do you think do you like the technique you gonna try it maybe <laughs> okay so here's tonight's card and this was the sample yes no which do you like better? I'm like, this gets hidden a little bit. It should have been down and this should have been moved over, but oh well. I like the background in this one better though. So, all right, well, thanks for joining me on this lovely Wednesday evening. Have a great evening. Follow me, stampingwithjohnny.com, and talk to you soon. Thank you. Go create. Bye-bye.